Hey, Wolfpack. How's it going? Angela Wolf here, and I cannot believe this massive snowstorm that's coming our way. It's wreaking havoc on all my plans this week, but hey, <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Uh, so welcome. Say hi. Say where you're from. I'm live streaming on my YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook pages, and I can see all of your comments. So, all right. I let you down a couple weeks ago when I was flying to Florida or flying back. I don't remember which way, but I had a great episode for you with Carrie and Reen, and guess what? There was no sound. But other than that, I actually found a few other of my favorite last episodes of fun crafting, sewing. Do you remember the fish? In fact, I totally forgot about the stripper fish. Yeah, lace, diamond, and silk, <laughs> I believe is what we named them. So I, I guess I need a life. I've been going through some of our old live shows just laughing because We've been doing this for years, years and years and years. And so I know today I think is episode 295, but I didn't even start counting for the first couple of years. So who knows how many videos we have. So I see you all rolling in. It's so nice to see you. So I know, Susan, you might be in the lineup for this storm. Or are you a little bit further south? I mean, I don't know who's not going to get hit with it. And Trisha, I'm wearing your beautiful necklace today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> I have to say, uh, when I'm going through some of these, Karina's like super happy, by the way, because have you gotten any interesting packages lately? I did, Karina. I got one from Melody, which was these gorgeous napkins. And ironically, I got a package from, well, I got Wynn's Christmas present. <laughs> It came and he walked right in because he went to go get my oil change for me, which is awesome. I hate waiting in that line. And I was like kind of covering it. I'm not going to tell you what it is just in case he's watching this, which I'm pretty sure he's not. He doesn't, he's not even on Facebook, but I'll give you a hint. It's something electronical for the boat, something practical. <laughs> it's kind of a gift to both of us because as long as this thing is really nice, it makes my life a lot easier as well. And I'm not talking about the bathroom. <laughs> So, all right, everyone, I did, uh, by the way, in case you missed this last week, Jan, I don't know if Jan's on here, but Jan, I just absolutely love this. I haven't even brought it home yet because I just sit here and it, this is just the cutest thing ever. So we have to bring Jan on so she can give some tips and tricks for this. We'll have to do that in one of our upcoming episodes when she's free. She's a busy lady, but I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so did you watch the show on Monday? Joe was on. We had a really fun time. Nick popped in to give a little promo for his big fashion show in Puyallup. Is that going to be fun or what? Yeah, very excited. I was actually just talking to Jeff from Kai Scissors because Devin's going to be joining us on January 11th because he's got some special giveaways for us and also going to promote Puyallup because I will be in the Kai Scissors booth. Very exciting, very exciting. But in the meantime, uh, I know some of you purchased a new dress form. The deal that Joe was offering was crazy. It's good until the end of the month, don't forget. And tomorrow is the Fashion Sewing Club Christmas party and one lucky winner is going to win a dress form. And then there's some other giveaways tomorrow too. So if you missed the free session to see what's going on in the Fashion Sewing Club, you can still go to that link and watch the replay. Uh, but you have to be a Fashion Sewing Club member before tomorrow if you want to be in that drawing. So welcome all the new number members as well. All right, so I'm going to give you all a laugh. Let me bring this uh, up. <laughs> hey, Zena, your package just went out today too, by the way. I love the color fabric that you got. And welcome to, uh, hey, Joanna, nice to see you. Okay, um, I'm going to just bring this. I've got a few of these. I have them saved in certain spots. So, you know, technology, it might work, it might not. But uh, do you remember this episode here? Uh, maybe. Okay, so I saw this on a video. One of you sent this to me, and I could not find it, so thank you for that. This. Well, here, I'll just squeeze you back here a little bit. Uh, I see some of you asking. <laughs> okay, squirrel for just for a minute. Uh, yeah, there's the stripper fish. They had to join the party. Can you see him down there? I put a white piece of paper back there just so they can say hi to you 
They are swimming, they are dancing. I'm sure, look at them. They are so excited to see you. I'm sure that they will probably be sleeping by the end of the show. Remember <laughs> the old usual? And then I saw someone else ask, yes. <laughs> so do you remember the stripper fish? Yes, I, you know, I have to check with Terry to see if they're still alive because I don't, I don't know. I gave him all the fish with the nice little uh, fish container, whatever you call that thing, <laughs> all the food, everything. Uh, yeah. Well, I had to because at that time I was traveling so much that I was afraid that if I didn't feed the fish, they're going to die, right? And he was coming into my office every day to feed the fish anyway. So I'm like, hey, Terry, you can have the fish. And so he was able to take, I told him he could rename them. They didn't have to be stripper fish. <laughs> this is what happens when you name everything off of your favorite fabrics. So I told when, now that I'm not traveling as much and a lot of my work is here, which I love, by the way, I might have to think about getting a few more fish because they were so much fun every time we did a live show. Remember the one that would always show off? I, they do have personalities, that's for sure. <laughs> I know, I do remember this show. And Clovis, I think you were in one of these episodes. Do you recall, and I cannot find the episode. If I do, I'm going to definitely have to play it again. Do you remember when we would just call people out of the blue? Now, you gave me the phone number and you gave me permission, but you never knew if I was going to call you or not. We absolutely have to bring that back on the show. But Clovis's husband answered and did not know it was me. And he was ready to hang up. And Clovis is like, no, 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 it's real. <laughs> I love it. Susan, what'd you say? Maxine might not like. <laughs> Maxine might get jealous. You never know. So Clovis, that was like the famous show, the famous show. All right. So I have this. Let's see. I have this episode, right? to where I think I show you how to do that really cool painting, which by the way, if you're trying to do some last minute uh, gifts or maybe you're trying to do Christmas cards or holiday cards or New Year's Eve cards, I love this trick with the string. So I'm gonna bring this back up and we can all laugh about it together. And yes, I am wearing my Delilah there. I Somebody had asked, I still have that. I'm wearing it because we're gonna be painting and if I get some more paint on it, it really won't matter, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what we're doing today. Have you ever done this? And I really did not think it was gonna work. Yes, so here is, I have my huge monster. Uh, this is the daylight tree. It's all lit up, but check these out. This takes three seconds. It matches my top. Okay. Oh, and I have some green. I have some yellow and green. Oh, I had a lot of fun with this. So I was testing different mediums. Paper, fabric. This is with very, very little paint. All I got to say is these are fun. So I tested it and it worked. And I'm going to show you how to do this. And I'm going to give you some ideas for fabric. All right. So that's first. All right. Let's get these out of the way. So leave me a comment because I would love to know if you've tried it. As you're leaving a comment, and I'm getting my face organized. I noticed that Facebook started something new. Have you seen it? <laughs> All right. So while this is playing, just so I'm going to skip ahead. By the way, this was in my old studio. I had one camera. I think I might have even been using my phone. So I cannot believe that all of you still even follow me. I would have been seasick. <laughs> totally seasick on that. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's bring it back. I think I got it to the spot where we started. Turn the light off on my daylight. I do have um, paper on here. And I also, if you're using underneath here is my horn cabinet. If you're using that, a cabinet like that, make sure you put plastic down. Ask me how I know, because I've already screwed up this one. But it came off quickly. All right, give me a thumbs up and let me know, or just make a little quick comment. Can you see this okay? Can you see everything okay? I have one more light here. Let me see if this, does that help you guys a little bit or? Yeah, I think that's better. I see. I can see. We're good. I see it great. I see Linda saying, yes, you're a top fan. I know. I, I found this. I couldn't believe it. So what I have here, these are the fabric paints that I've used before. Um, put my glasses on, and I will tell you what they are. All-purpose ink. Well, that helps you a lot, right? <laughs> well, this is some ink that I bought a long time ago. You can get fabric ink. This can be used, I believe, for fabric. You have to press it or it can just be used for paper. I will 
be sure that I post a link to this on my Amazon page uh, in my blog post tomorrow. Okay, that'll be on Angela Wolf. All right, and now we have, okay, this is, do you see, by the way, that yarn collection behind me? Yeah. <laughs> that all yarn. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because that yarn collection is like so small to what I have now. <laughs> I still haven't made the bathing suit that I wanted to crochet. I still haven't. I did finish part of a jacket. I did do that since then. I'm just trying to think. Do you ever have these hobbies that all of a sudden you're right into it and then squirrel? <laughs> oh, yeah. I get an A plus on that one. But all right, let's keep rolling because I have lots to share with you today. I only have one of Janet's yarns that she showed last week, but I have all these other yarns because Someday I'm going to uh, make myself a sweater, right? And I had to have every color to make sure that I started right. So I thought I'm here. I've seen it done with string. So you've seen this. This is just really thin, inexpensive yarn. I actually use this in a surgery as well in the lower looper. Yeah. Don't worry, Leslie. You're not late to the party. You haven't missed a thing yet. And then I also took some of this thicker. This is that chenille yarn. I thought that that might be a really good <laughs> thing to try to make. A bigger color. I don't know. We'll see. Crochet yarn would work. Um, this is not crochet yarn, though. This is just regular. Okay. So then, let me just bring you a little closer here. What you need is something to protect this. At first, I'm going to do it on paper. And I have cardstock paper. And this is a little bit thicker. Let me just grab a few pieces here. This is cool. There you go. In fact, to remind myself and to remind you so you don't make a mess, although this is tissue paper that's a little thin, I grabbed the newspaper. I'm just going to lay this out a little bit. So let's see, what do we have? And, oh, there's a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Um, Obviously, this is last week's ad, but anyway, I'm just gonna lay these down. I think this will be safer for if I spill ink on here. So now I'll take one piece of. I'm dying to see uh, what happens here. I cannot remember. All this in one little area. There we go. If I made a mess okay, on my shirt. This on top so you can see. Otherwise, you're gonna be reading the paper, not paying attention to me, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of ink, just a smidge. I've already played with this a little bit, but I'll just refresh this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Wind's on guard. I can see, you can see the terror. What am I going to spill or throw, right, Wind? Hey, Wind, the girl said that I should do that to your yellow tops that I ruined, all those yellow ones I ruined with my pink shirt. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? He said, I'd love to look on my shirt. Oh, when you're a good sport. Susan, Fisher, you can tell Steve we're going to do tulips on our men's shirts, right? And I also see on here that someone said, well, Okay, so by the way, Susan, I'm cracking up because I did actually try to hand dye some of Wynn's shirts that I ruined. Did you all hear about one of those ruinings of his shirts? Well, I don't know which episode this one was because I've ruined a few of his. One time I put in some of his shirts with one of the shirts I had just hand dyed, but dye still came out of it and it was a hot pink shirt. Let's just say his shirts became very colorful, very, but not in a real good way. It kind of combined, well, they ended up being my shirts and now I use them for dusting. So if that kind of gives you a little hint, that's really kind of how that happened. But we'll keep rolling. I'm just wondering if Susan ever did this Welcome to Steve. Back, that means Jude's back in here. Jude's back in the house. So I hope you enjoyed your move. What I'm doing is I took some of the string and I'm just going to dip it in the paint. I like to get it a little coated. Okay. This is a glass Pyrex dish that I don't use for cooking. As you know, that's not in my vocabulary. <laughs> this looks like baking, decorating cookies or something. 
and here's a little bit of yellow. I can see some, oh, that has yellow and red. Well, now we have orange, right? <laughs> okay, that worked out beautifully. Now it's flush. <laughs> okay, so someone said, how long of a piece of yarn are you uh, using? Let me bring you back up here. I'm not coated quite badly yet. This is about how long of a piece that I'm using here. Now there's a couple of these that I made really long and I mean, it just really depends on how big the paper you're using. I just try to use something smaller so I didn't end up wearing all of this today, okay? And then for this one, I'll do this last, and this is about this long. So, what long <laughs> I am? What do you think that is, my butter? 18 inches. That's what I was thinking. Great minds think alike. Okay, so the other thing that you need is just a heavy, like a book. This is an old scrapbook. Let's see if there's anything in here. This could be scary. No, oh, she's blank. No embarrassing moment. <laughs> okay, so this is just a book so I can keep it level when I'm pulling the string out. So I'm going to bring you back in close, but now you know what I'm using. So the first thing we're going to do is use paper for this. Uh, when I saw this done on video, they actually had a scrapbook book where you were actually doing it inside the book, which is very cool because I have, oh my gosh, I told you guys, just pretty time that this is one of your um, journals. I have a ton of journals that I write in. So if you could just do a little one of this in the corner, how personal and cool would that be? Now, I'm not doing this on all of your thank you notes, by the way. Although I do write thank you notes, that might be a bit much, but just pretend it's there, how's that? All right, let's get going. You bring you down here, and I'm watching everybody saying, oh, 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 <laughs> okay. Put the paper now. Don't miss this part. This is the most important part. I'm just going to use the red. I kind of now, feel like. Notice that I bought, I just have these little cheap. I kind of feel like I'm hanging out with my twin sister right now. <laughs> it's a little creepy. I want to talk. I like, I want to talk back, but it's me. So that's like a little weird. <laughs> I'm not sure this is real, but this is what I'm doing. I don't want it to have too much paint. So I'm letting this just slide. Can you see that okay? I'm sliding it right through the paintbrush. All right, got it. See it? Here, it's hanging, it's hanging. All right, I'll bring this up a little bit further so you can see. And now I'm just going to tap. Tap. Woo. Okay, we're done. So that's one piece. I'm just going to put another couple pieces on top, like this. All right, hold it, hold it. <laughs> and then I suppose you probably don't have to use this book, but I just found it to be much easier if I use this book. I'm just dying to see if I get this so on I myself. Saw somebody say, you need the, the daylight. Um, no, you don't, but it really works good. <laughs> daylight, I have a whole different marketing program for you. All right, you see what I'm doing? I'm pulling out the thread. Now, this is where you just don't want it to like fly back into you. I'm pulling, I'm pulling, and I'm going to go really slow, but I'm holding the book down at the same time. You just don't want to slap you because then you're going to end up coating the thread. Putting it right back in the dish. Ready for the big reveal? I showed this on Instagram, so some of you have already seen kind of what happened, but I did a fast version of it. All right. Love magic tricks. I agree. And welcome, Nadine. Here we go. Whoa, wowzers. Okay, so how cool is that? Love, love, yeah, love. It looks like a lily. What do you think, Glenn? You want that all over your yellow shirt? <laughs> okay, so I've got more. Okay, I think that's pretty cool, by the way. Zena, you want to know what, what technique this is called? I, I have no idea. I just know I saw it somewhere on a special, um, and I don't re even, re I, I can't even give credit to who even showed me this because I don't remember. I will say I was definitely having a bad hair day there, though. It looks like, <laughs> well, you never know. Some of these days I'm running around the studio and then it's time to do a live show. And it's like, oh, do I have a brush? <laughs> but it was very cool. It was very cool. It was very fun. Okay, so I think I did. Let me see. I got one more here for you. A run over, Lily? 
something like that, but we're going to just go for it, right? A run over Lily. I'm not I sure what that is. Live that I haven't tried before. Otherwise, it wouldn't be any fun, right? I need a little bit more paint. Oh, yes. No, I'm not wearing the gloves, but this is not like, this isn't dye. All right, we're going to let that soak up in there for a little bit. That chenille, by the way, can you see that? That sucks up all of the dye. <laughs> that might get expensive. And then we have this one to try here. In there you go, Debbie. Red and yellow. Stirring art. All right, let's get to that. So first I thought, this would look so cool on denim. Now, this is this is fabric dye that I used. Do you remember when I did that shaving? Okay, so. I know I got into the shaving cream here, and that makes a really big mess, but it's really cool. So did I make the Christmas cards out of them? I used it for uh, just cards, like just writing like little notes. I should do that again because I have a ton of card stock, and this would just be such a cool look. Paint them, then cut them out with the scan and cut. They could be cute little name tags on your gift bags. Wouldn't that be cool? I think so. Great project. I agree. Uh, what did you have to say, Vicki? Can you do it on fabric? Yes. Okay, so I think I tried it on fabric here, but I used shaving cream. Remember the shaving cream thing? Let me see if I have it in this episode here. Shaving cream. It turned out so cool. I don't know if I did or not. Well, I thought, well, this is going to be kind of neat. Let me do this. Let me do this on denim. Not so much. <laughs> Can you even see it? So, let me bring my light back here. It just looks like dirty fabric. Okay, I'll even bring it down here. Can you see that? I'm making it super bright. You can hardly see. So what did it do? It just soaked up the dye, which is not what I wanted. Okay? So then, of course, I had to try another one. Oh, I think I remember. So this is cream colored, like a cotton. That turned out fabulous. Oh, I like that. And oh, that did not so much. So again, it sucked up the. <laughs> All right. So Carrie says, move the thread back and forth as you pull it. All right, I'll try that on the next one. So there you go. So that that fabric did not work out so well, but you can leave it to win. After I was talking about my wardrobe malfunctions, he says, I have a great idea for you. Why don't you make something that would be great for like a robe or a night ear? Remember the flowered stuff? Mm -hmm. I used to wear it. Okay, Wynn, bring out the big reveal. You're not coming in? <laughs> don't knock over our fish. Oh my gosh, they're acting dead. They're already bored. <laughs> There's Wynn. Okay, Hi, Wynn. This is what we have. This is silver satin. Okay, this is gorgeous so let me just bring this down here and show you what this ended up like oh i love that, that out. arnell you had it totally right when said use something that's satin and shimmery could you imagine this for a lining oh my gosh so if it's a fabric paint or even this paint i'll get you a link to this so don't worry about that but a fabric paint and then you go and you would press this to make it i think so too k and that would be beautiful so I could definitely see stuff like this on a lining. Let's see. I'm going to leave that one for now. Why don't we try? All right. I'll skip ahead and see if there are any other good ones. Ooh. Remember these jeans? I don't know where I got them from. Somewhere online. That would be cool. Anyways, this episode as I, i've been kind of going through some of the old ones i see somebody say are, have, are these archived they are so all of these shows i don't even know if they were on youtube because when we first started doing the live shows you could only stream to facebook or it, youtube didn't even have live streaming at that time if they did it was very new so this would be if you go to my facebook page and go through the watch party you can see all of these but i will make sure because I've been trying to piece these together on my blog so it's easier to find and navigate. So I'll make sure I add this one. And I have to find the one with this shaving cream. I don't think it's this one. I'll just double check. 
No, but I'm doing one more here. So let's see what I did with this one. I don't even remember. So it's kind of like talking to myself. <laughs> this is yellow plus red, in case you were wondering. I love that light peach color. Did you ever try it on stretch, stretch linen? I did not. I have not. Oh, on starch linen. So this is what it looked like if you move things around. A little bit more abstract. Not all bad, just a different look, right? I need more paper here. There we go. <laughs> I just will warn you, this is so addicting. So if you... Oh, that's kind of pretty. Oh, oh, yeah. That's the difference. You just leave it straight. So this is, and look at the colors don't even look the same. Of course, I might have added a little bit more red in that last one. But that is cool. I think what difference it makes it, see that line to the center? It really makes it look like something real. Very good. All right, now let's try one more. It does. I'm going to now try, if I can find any more paper here. I think I used a whole notebook. There we go. <laughs> the last sheet. Now we're going to try this, this big thick piece. I don't okay, recall so this I turning out very well. Why don't we make it like really tight? And then there's the bottom. This is really thick, so I'm just going to put a few pieces on here. I book over. Kind of looks like a worm. Oh, that was lovely. Holy cow! I just made the biggest mess. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I do recall this episode now. I just remember that big yarn was really messy and it broke. And when it broke, the dye went everywhere. I got some on my shirt. I got some all over my horn cabinet. I got some on the carpet. I, I actually thought I was going to swear there. I'm glad I didn't. I would have been off. <laughs> I try to keep my P's and Q's together on the live shows, but um, yeah, it did not turn out well. And it made a huge, huge mess. I, uh, do you see this on here? Okay, check this out. Look at that. Look at everywhere. All over my shirt, <laughs> all over. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> all right, let's try. <laughs> okay, I can see the laugh coming in. So, by the way, chenille breaks so you can't pull as hard. Oh, my gosh. Wait, look at this. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. Oh, oh, but that looks really good. <laughs> I don't know if it was worth all of this mess <laughs> here. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't mind that. All right. It actually turned out I did not think it looked that good. I didn't recall that at all. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am still smiling. It's pretty good when you can laugh at yourself. I mean, that's pretty funny. It turned out cool. I see somebody saying that you love that shirt I was wearing there. Well, today... By the way, I'm wearing the Shirley. I've had this for a while. This was, I think this was my first Shirley. It's with a, um, uh, what fabric? Um, oh my gosh, I just lost the word. Couture crepe, couture crepe knit. I love it. I can roll it up and I love this color orange. I'm actually wearing that color there. And in the video, I'm wearing, uh, that's the Delilah with the slits. Remember the Delilah has like nine variations and it's hand dyed fabric. Yeah. So I think that was about it for that. Let me make sure I didn't do any of the, nope, I did not. It looks like I gave another fitting lesson, something fantastic, of course. So, all right, that was that one. I just thought that was hilarious. So did I run out of time yet? Because I have one more for you. No, we still have a little bit more time. Okay, hold on. I'll find the other one now. 
Oh, it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't fun doing all of this, right? I know you got to have a laugh at yourself. Okay, so I know this other one. I had it saved. That's not it. Um, maybe I have to reopen it. Hold on just a sec. <laughs> oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you girls. Okay, this, I know it was here. Here it is. The one that we were trying to watch that had no sound. So we are live. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> I had to start with that photo. Is that the cutest? Okay, hold on. And I'll only play just little pieces of this, not the whole thing. But there were some great gift ideas on here. So hold that thought. Here we go. And I still love this picture of Carter. He absolutely freaked out. <laughs> Um, he did not want to be on Santa's lap. All right, so I'm going to skip ahead. Hold on just a second. So Reen and Carrie were on here. And I know that each one of them showed a couple of really cute ideas for gifts. So I'm just going to skip ahead to each one. Do you remember this episode? All right, I'll bring it up. My sister Julie sent me these last year, and this is such a cute idea. I, if you have little beer bottles, little Coke bottles, anything like that, she painted on these. Are these cute or what? And put a little thing on the top. Aren't these fun? Here's another one. Merry I'm Christmas, Jenny. Julie. Julie, if you're on here, say hi. That is so fun. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, so Reen. Let's start with you. Okay. What do you got going for us? I'm going to bring this camera over here without making anybody see it. All right. I brought something for our pets. Dogs like Christmas too. Everyone in our family, we have five dogs, is getting a dog bow. These were really quick and easy to make. The bow is basically a rectangle. I think I kind of, I have a dachshund. So these are sized for him right now. That's a four by five inch rectangle. Right sides together, sew it, leave an opening. The uh, strap, I cut it five inches wide by about 15 inches long, folded it, and put Velcro on each end. And it goes around his neck. It's kind of adjustable. So cute. This is really cute. That is Hold cute. On, I'm going to bring this up here. Can you guys see it? This would be <laughs> <laughs> I can get this to win. <laughs> so let me show you up a little closer. So there's Velcro, in case you missed that. And these are adorable. You're going to see another version that's for humans in a second from Carrie. But although I kind of like that Velcro, I think this could be for a human. Yeah. This has got little dachshunds on it. But um, these were very, very quick and easy. And, you know, I'm kind of tired of giving the dog toys that get torn up before, <laughs> you know, Christmas is even over. That's understandable. I have those. So that's a fun one. You guys have any questions on that post? I see someone saying, I'm, I'm saying Carrie, uh, Sandy wants to know, uh, not Carrie, I always say Sandy Cunningham, Sandy wants Cunningham. to know, uh, tell her how to get her cat to sit still for the holidays so she can. <laughs> <laughs> she with us, she sees an Angela thread cutter. Yes. Thread cutters. Carrie's got one too. Yeah. Are these cool? New thread cutters. Okay, so I'm just cracking up at Kay's comment here. Can you imagine if we all got snowed in at my studio? You know, that would be kind of fun. I wouldn't mind getting snowed in at my own studio just to have like sometimes, which it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes when everything gets canceled or actually usually it's a Saturday. I don't have too many free Saturdays, but every once in a while I'll get a Saturday all to myself and I feel like I'm in heaven. I go to my studio, but usually I'm cleaning after the week. But if it's clean, when I get here, I get so excited because I can just start sewing. I can squirrel <laughs> and go sew something else. I can go to the scan and cut and do some crafting. I don't know about you guys, but I have had my scan and cut plugged in and on almost nonstop. Now, full disclosure, I am a brother brand ambassador, but they did not ask me to say that. <laughs> it's just something during the holidays when I need something really quick. I bought some cardstock. I've been making little cards, 
little tags for your bags. Oh my gosh, so much fun stuff. All right, so there was more. There's more. So this is the episode you couldn't hear the other day. <laughs> it's much better with sound, I must say. Love these. Just don't flip your hair. <laughs> All right, so Sarah, you want to go next, and then we'll go back to um, Green over here. Yeah, so since we're talking about both sides, we'll continue to talk about both sides. But aren't these adorable? One for dad, one for son. Oh, and so cute. Ho, ho. I turn it up right. <laughs> they say ho, ho, ho. So they made the same so way. Cute. There's triangles or rectangles, rather, and it's two of them. So you get a little bit more uh, oomph in there. I like the double layer. Yes, yeah, like the double layer. It's a little more sturdy, I think. And then mine are adjustable, but it's done with the bow tie hardware. And you can get that bow tie hardware from, um, we were just talking about those. Wawak? Wawak, that kind of, they have it. I didn't know they did actual mm -hmm. bow tie hardware. These are so bow tie cute. hardware, and that's what makes it adjustable. Oh my gosh, this, this is so much fun. So this will adjust all the way up to about a 23, 22, 23. And all the way down to whatever you need it to be. You can move this if you need to. That's nice. So it's not it's down. But these take about maybe your first time, I think you 15, 20 minutes, and after that, you 15 can do minutes. Them. Yeah, 10, right. 10 or 15 minutes once you get used to doing them. This is really cute. I'm this is this a really little cute one that I made with a little penguin. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> these are so cute. So there's two ideas for you guys. Where is Wynn? Well, Wynn can't be here to tell her he's on. <laughs> he just took Cindy to the um, airport. Oh, I forgot about this. I was wondering. I was, I called Cindy a six. I was trying to think, was she? I could have sworn she was here. Where did she go? Well, she's gone. <laughs> I forgot he took her to the airport. I know. So cute. So, Carrie, I don't know if you're watching today, but uh, that was a great. But she also had some other things on here. So uh, there's more. I'm just going to skip ahead to all the fun stuff just for the last little bit of our show because there was a really cool neck wrap, which would make a great gift. And I showed you how to make some really cool ornaments. All right, let's keep it rolling. Give me a second to set up. We're going back to me. Don't put that stuff by me or we'll have a big mess. <laughs> All right, no, no making a mess. What do you got over? What do you got going for us? Let's see. Oh, I have these. So these placemats came from Walmart. Buffalo plaid is all over the place, so I had to get it on it too. I took my scan and cut, just picked the font off my computer, and uh, typed Marion Bright, mirror image fit, cut it out of some heat transfer glitter vinyl, pressed it on the placemats. I got a set of four, roll them up, tie a bow around them, and I think it'd make a really cute um, hostess gift, going to a party or something for the holidays, quick and easy. And the placemats are only like $1.88 at Walmart. $1.88? You can't even buy yeah. for that. I know. I was, I was going to make them, but I could buy them for that much. <laughs> so, Julie, are you on here? Because if you are, this is a great idea. I think, I don't remember which one of my sisters has the scanning cut. Teresa, maybe? Whichever one of you, this is super easy. Super, super easy. That's really cute. All right, Carrie, you got one more before I make a mess. <laughs> okay, so before she makes a mess, I made a fleece scar, very simple fleece scar. I rolled as the, the as I love roll him. So I did a roll him on here on my serger. Let me see. And, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> it looks beautiful. This looks a little wider than normal. Um, and this is actually Rhonda's secret design. It's from a Stitch and Time design. It's her, one of her red work designs. And then I added a little bling. And on the back, I added a pocket. It's kind of upside down. And here you go. Oh, I so got that. Two things. Those of you who worry about the back of your embroidery, you can hide it with a pocket, but it's a useful pocket. That so, looks great. Good see. idea. Did you see the bling? I love bling. Everybody knows that, too. <laughs> that is no surprise. I like that pocket though. Yeah, I did. Put too. your phone in there. Yeah. Yep, you can put your phone in there, your wallet, some cash. Your That's little, a great your idea. little gloss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does it look like, Adi? Was it okay? Yeah, did you put a pocket on the other end? <laughs> I did not. But you can. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay, show everybody on Instagram. That's adorable. 
<laughs> okay, that's cute. That is very cute. It. Everybody's saying great idea. So before <laughs> we got Denise says great idea, love the scarf. That red looks great on you. Clovis right. loves scarves. What a great Christmas. I know these are just fun Christmas ideas. We just wanted to have fun today. When I heard these two were coming in, well, there was three of us. We lost one. Cindy had to fly out. But I thought we got to do something fun today. So this is all DIY project. Are you on there yet? There you are. Okay, and I call, these, I call these fleece scarves um, eight or nine minutes, probably. Eight that, or nine minutes. That includes threading the machine. <laughs> but really quick. I love it. And this. the design, I think, sits out. I don't remember, maybe 10 minutes or less. Okay, so I have to just uh, interject here. I love that scarf. That would make such a great last minute gift. And I'm looking at the embroidery from her snowflake, which came from Rhonda. Did you did you watch that class with um, the holiday gift making? Well, in there, Rhonda has a design, her son digitized that said, let it snow. Oh my gosh, that would look perfect on there, perfect. And so I see a lot of you, hey, Reen, we need to do this again. I think so, Reen. Everyone said it would be so much fun if we all got snowed in at my studio. But I was wondering, Reen, how many dogs do you have now? Because when you did these bow ties, I think you only had one. Now you have two. So now you need to make more bow ties, if I'm correct. <laughs> I don't think you had two at that time. So um, by the way, I see some of you asking about my shirt there, and I'm looking at it going, where is that shirt? I have not seen that. And I forgot we embroidered it with metallic thread. Do you remember that? But I did not use metallic on the backside, so it wasn't scratchy against my skin. I have to pull that top out of, I got to find it. <laughs> it's got to be in one of these uh, one of these closets because that's very cute. All right, there's more. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, you guys, if you have comments or questions, just leave them below. Julie, you are here. So, Julie, I have, I don't know which one you're on, Julie, but I have brought your Christmas project. Yes, you know what I'm talking about, this. I pulled it out of the closet that you bought me like two years ago, and so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm giving you full credit, by the way, full credit. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready for this one? So I, first I'm going to have you show your, because I don't want to get it dirty. All right, so this is something that's very special that I made for my mother-in-law, my daughter-in-law's mother. -in -law's mother. Um, of course, for me and my two daughter-in-laws, what it is, is this is a picture that my grandson, who's five, drew of himself. He wrote his name at the bottom, Ethan. Here's the actual picture that he, he drew. I just oh printed God. it out, put it onto the luminaire, scanned it, turned it into stitches. It took about five minutes to do this whole thing. And then I stitched it out on this towel. So I think my mother-in-law is just going to go crazy when she sees this for uh, Christmas. I, I really hope she's not watching the live <laughs> because she might be. But um, it just it's adorable, I think. And it's something that's special. It's something that's custom. It's something that you're not going to get from anywhere else. So it's really, really cute. All right, there you are. Now, you guys, I won't make you sick anymore. That <laughs> is adorable. I absolutely love that. So those of you that have, now, by the way, uh, this was done, I believe, on, I don't remember if this was the Luminaire time or the Dream Machine. You could do either because you could scan it in. Even still air, you could take a photo. But do you have, this, do you have the Art Spirit app on your phone? then you can write right on it. And as long as your sewing machine or scan and cut has Wi-Fi, it can go directly to it. So it's even gotten faster, <laughs> faster and easier. Oh yeah, two. Okay, Rain, I knew you had one or two. I could not, I was thinking I was two. I know, so cute. All right, so I'm just gonna take you ahead to these little fun Christmas ornaments. And <laughs> that's a great view right there, right? <laughs> All right. We're not very expensive. Okay. I can see I'm a Christmas ornament. Yes. <laughs> not all. I know, Rhonda. It's a it's a long story short. They are Christmas balls. All right. So let me just show you. Guys. I know we've had way too much fun going on here today. You have your glitter and you have your wax. 
And my sister bought me this little funnel, it's really tiny, it fits right in here. So uh, why don't we do, why don't I practice on one of mine without your names first, all right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the top of the ball, you pull this off like this. And try not to break it. This is just plastic. So I think, <laughs> should we throw it? See? <laughs> So you have this, and you take, let me take, uh, Ron doesn't seem to come in, All right. <laughs> Here's this part, put that in here, okay? And you just give it a little bit of dab. Just enough to, okay, let's put this back in here. And then just roll this, this is wax, okay? And you just get it all the way inside of this little bowl. And then the magic happens. Okay, there's a little bit too much in there, so, I'm going to dump this back in here. All right. My hands are getting very... This is kind of like, wait That's for it. That's all right. Wait for what it. What you guys want? Silver, gold. Let's go for purple. Why not, right? Oh, yeah. Cindy made me this cute little funnel out of paper. <laughs> okay, that goes there. And then just dump a little bit of glitter in. Oh, she's brilliant. There's my glitter. And now just shake it. And you can see the magic start to happen. See, look at how it's already. Can you see that? And so now I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. You can do designs. This is such an easy project. It'd be great with kids, although I don't know what your kitchen would look like when you're finished, but I know my horn cabinet is never going to be the same. <laughs> That part cabinet you know, is all glittered up today. It just makes this, if I can, you see it better on white? How the purple is just gathering. The bottom, I had a little bit of extra wax in there, so it stayed. And, okay, let's just say you want a lot more than you have going on in there. Just put a little bit more of this. Zena, it is wax. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shake it up. I can even see the glitter start to go around even more. Put some more in there. I agree, Jeanette. And we all need more glitter. <laughs> and now look. Isn't that cool? Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. This is so much fun. So this is a great project for kids. Just maybe smell of wax. It'll just, people will just think you're cleaning your shoes. <laughs> Don't get high off the smell, okay? Because <laughs> it definitely has an odor to it. All right, so I also had some other, uh, There's this episode goes on for a long time. I, I'll make sure I save the link for you because there were some very, very cute things in here. And we even put together part of a wreath. I'm going through, there was a lot. Oh, here, this is the one. You got to see this because this is what Carrie made me, which I just loved. Oh, this is so cute. This is a rectangle. That's it. Let me see if I do this right. Yeah, like this, right? There you go. Good taste, Carrie. Okay. Good, good taste. Yeah. Basically, you match up the, the point here, and then the snap will snap there, and then the two snap, snap over here. Okay. Get your hair in there. I don't need that. I, I have um, wax on my fingers. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now my hair is going to be shiny. And it's going to be a whole beauty treatment, I'm thinking. And don't and watch the hair with the spread cutters. I'm going to take the spread cutters off just for a moment. <laughs> All right. What do you think? This is super cute. Mm -hmm. I could have this in every color. I have a couple of them. <laughs> oh, my baby. This is so cool and easy. I mean, this is the cutest thing ever. I'd wear a jacket over it or yeah. even just with the top if you get cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is cool. Well, this area, you need <laughs> something. Okay, so someone asked, I, uh, what are you going to do about this nasty weather coming? I'm going to pull that out of my closet, and I have some really warm mittens. I'm pulling out my boots. Uh, yeah. We're going to have the monsoon storm. So, Carrie, thank you for that great gift because I'm definitely going to be wearing it ASAP. <laughs> I know. All right, everyone. This was a super fun show. I just wanted to bring back some of the really fun things from the past for the holidays. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, by the way, is our Fashion Sewing Club Christmas party. Yes, it's going to be very exciting. And 
Joe gave me an extra dress form to give away to one lucky fashion sewing club member, along with some other goodies too. So how does that work? Show up for the Christmas party. This one's on Zoom. So wear your Christmas attire, your holiday attire. Show off what you've been doing in the Fashion Sewing Club this last year. We're going to love to see it. Share your good makes and your bad makes. <laughs> fitting greats and fitting foupas, right? <laughs> so that's in the Fashion Sewing Club. All of you that just recently joined, welcome to the club. And the rest of you, I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise... There might be, I'm supposed to have a brother show tomorrow. I'm just giving you a heads up. It's supposed to be at noon, but I've been watching the weather closely. And if for any reason that storm looks like it's coming earlier, I won't be because I don't want to be out in that nasty nastiness. So it looks like everyone's going to get hit by this, except some people have it more cold. Some people have more snow. Saturday looks just miserable, but what are you going to do, right? All right. Well, in the meantime, everyone stay safe. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Those of you celebrating Hanukkah, whatever you're doing, have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. If I see you on Brother tomorrow, we're making gift bags. If I don't, then we'll do it another time. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a great day. And as always, if you ever need anything, holler. Oh, one more thing. There's a new giveaway that's starting this weekend. It's the giveaway for Puyallup. Remember that? Two four-day passes, I think it was. I have to go back and double check the exact, but it was really good. And Joe's discounts work all the way through the end of the year. So don't forget about that. So I hope all of you that are traveling, travel safe. Don't get stuck in that nasty snow. And in the meantime, I will talk to you soon. Happy sewing, everyone.